Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. The Lord sent me to warn you about a call that will be coming from a CEO. A CEO will call you in the next seven days for a contract. The Lord says, be very, very careful. Do not accept the contract. It is a, a, a setup, it's a trap. Praise Master Jesus. The reason why I'm recording this particular prophetic word is for someone to be very, very careful. Please just watch this amazing word from the beginning to the end and believe me, your life will not remain the same for in Jesus' name. The Lord is asking me to warn you about this CEO. Hallelujah. This is a boss. This is a great man. This is somebody you went before, before as a great personality seeking for help. And finally, this person has agreed to help you. But God is saying no. Not all doors that open you enter. There are those that the moment it opens, you must look what is inside the house. Hallelujah. There are those that lead to prison. There are those that lead to celebration. Hallelujah. Please just listen from the beginning to the end and you'll be blessed. For in Jesus' name. Once more, if this is your first time family, I'm the man available. God bless you. God has been helping me or with my senior colleague, the Holy Spirit, to bring us or to keep us updated every day with prophetic word. Please, 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 can we support our own as Christians, as believers? I'm begging each and every one of us to support our own. How to support our own? By liking, by sharing. We are also making it to grow. Hallelujah. If God says yes and man says no, it will remain no. Because when God wants to bless a man, he looks for a man that is available. If we cannot come together, join our hands as family to support our own, your own pastor, your own brother, hallelujah, it will be very difficult in the mighty name of Jesus. So the Lord is warning you concerning this contract that you will receive with this CEO. There is someone watching me. There is a contract opportunity before you. And before you sign this contract, there will be a proposal. The law says, if you accept this proposal, you have signed your debt warrant. This proposal is for you to sign your debt warrant. What am I trying to say? At the place of prayer, the Lord showed me this particular prophetic word. I had to put it down. I saw a woman whereby this is somebody you were talking with. You went there for a job and this particular person took your contract and your document and this person wrote you and he has been communicating with you asking you some personal questions concerning your life and you yourself you know a lot about this man that this man is a well-respected man he's married and you know everything concerning this man and this man is planning to call you maybe i'm talking to you and these similar things has already happened to you maybe you fall victim or maybe you're about to go into it please it is high time you, you listen to this word and you correct your step and not to fall into it in the name of jesus so what i'm trying to say is that this man is about to call you to have a meeting with you and after this particular meeting this particular person will propose to you that he will spend a night with you. This person will propose to you that he will sleep with you. So the Lord said, I should warn you not to sleep with him. Let the job go. If you have never come at that point of time in the life whereby you must let go some things, like you must look at yourself and say, no, it is better I let go these things to keep my relationship with God. If you have not overcome that particular bridge, get ready such opportunity and such the um, bridge must come in life and you must stand strong what am i trying to say when i saw this particular incident the lord the holy spirit helped me in the scripture uh the story of of the widow the parable of the widow in the in the book of matthew the bible is talking about a widow that needed justice this is the jesus himself speaking that there was a widow that needed justice. The widow went to the lawyer. The lawyer feared no man nor God. When the widow went to the lawyer, just imagine yourself. If the Bible does not go deeper to tell us the lifestyle of, of a lawyer, we all know that if a lawyer does not fear God or fear any man, he can do anything. That means if you come before the lawyer, he can scam you, he can put you to jail, he can lie, he can sleep with you, he can propose everything. So this widow needed justice and this widow knew that, that the lawyer is the only one to grant her justice. This, this, this lawyer refused. The Bible made it clear that the widow kept on going at the point of which the lawyer felt that 
felt that like like for, for him to have rest he must give this widow justice so this widow troubled the lawyer constantly this widow needed help she needed connection she needed something from the lawyer what do you need what are your expectations what are you asking from god do you think that your god is so cheap that he cannot give you the visa do you think that your god is so cheap that he cannot give you the job do you think that your god is so cheap that he cannot hold your hands and lift you up the same people you're seeing up today they don't have 25 hours they also have 24 hours god is the one that lifts them up and god can still lift you up hallelujah wait on the lord a lot of us came across this bridge and we fell imagine if this widow could sleep with this man because she needed justice that justice could not have come from god but the bible said the widow kept kept herself and kept on praying going every day it came a point of time whereby this this judge advised himself that for me to have rest just imagine the widow troubling the man during the day every day every day imagine at night that means the widow go by day by night the widow pray will pray call the man's name whatever thing that you, you need child of god how many times have you troubled the company how many times have you troubled your manager at the place of prayers forget about the physical how many times have you deposited your CV? You're complaining that there is no job. Have you prayed? How many times your manager say no? Have you gone back? Your manager say, say no. Have you insisted? How many times the widow kept on going at the place of prayer? She kept on going physically and it came a point of time. The judge said, for me to have rest, let me give this woman justice. So the Lord laid me to record this word and pray for someone. The Lord said, no, you don't need to give up. You don't need to give your body. You don't need to say yourself because of that job. You love God so, so much. Do not limit your God because the Lord is preparing something good for you. Hallelujah. If you can be able to resist that man, that man will, will see a good woman and, and he can still employ you just because of your dignity and your integrity. But the moment you accept to sleep with him, even if he gives you that job, he will know that you can still do that if you have a better job tomorrow. Please, please please i want us to pray it's a trap hallelujah it's a trap and anybody can fall fall on it i just want us to pray everywhere you anywhere you're watching me hallelujah just drop a prophetic comment that any trap of the enemy set before me father help me not to fall on it only god can help us you cannot say you're strong your spiritual no only god type it at the comment section any trap the enemy have set before me, Father, help me not to fall on it. And I declare and I decree, as you type it at the comment section, so shall it be upon your life. For in Jesus' name, Amen. God bless you all, family. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to, to, to like and share. For in Jesus' name, Amen and Amen.